All right, everyone, welcome back to the channel. And I am your cook Spinelli and you're at All Wings Everything. And today's video, we're gonna do Cajun buttered wings. Think about that. You see how that even rolls off your tongue? Cajun butter, oh man, let me tell you, these wings are amazing. You guys are gonna love them. And what I recommend you do, I recommend you follow me right now and cook this recipe as we go along. Because I'm telling you, once you see these wings when they're done, you're gonna go crazy. So go ahead, get to your kitchen. I'm already in mine. We gotta go ahead and get this recipe started. Cause when I think of Cajun butter, man, I always, I'm, I'm thinking I can't even wait till we finish it. I'm, I'm, I'm jumbling my words right now. Come on, man, let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go. Right, so these are the ingredients we're going to use today for this recipe. As always, we have our Publix Green Wise Chicken. We have some thyme, chili powder, salt, butter, some garlic powder, black pepper. We have paprika. We have some minced garlic. We have oregano. We have onion powder, red, uh, red pepper, and some brown sugar. So these are the ingredients we're going to use today. So let's get started. All right. So now I've already cleaned out our chicken and measured out our ingredients for this recipe. So let's go ahead and start. So what I have here, I have one and a half tablespoons of salt. I have a tablespoon of paprika. I have one and a half teaspoons of garlic powder. I have one teaspoon of onion powder. I have a teaspoon of chili powder. I have three fourths teaspoons of dried thyme. I have a half a teaspoon of dried oregano. I have a half a teaspoon of brown sugar. And I have three fourths teaspoon of cayenne pepper or red pepper. And I have a fourth a teaspoon of black pepper. And I also have a fourth of cup of butter. I have uh, four teaspoons of minced garlic. These are the ingredients we're going to use for this recipe. So let's go ahead and get started. All right. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to make our um, Cajun seasoning. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to grab our black pepper and we're going to add that to a dish. Next, we're going to add our red pepper. Next, let's add our thyme, our paprika. Next, the chili powder, our garlic powder, our salt, then the oregano, our brown sugar, our onion powder, then give that a quick mix to combine the ingredients and then we'll move on to our next step. All right. So what we're going to do is we're going to season our chicken with this Cajun seasoning. So take your tablespoon uh, initially and sprinkle it over your chicken. And once you uh, do that, what you want to do is you want to give that chicken a good mix and add more Cajun seasoning uh, to your desire. Of course, I add a little bit more than a tablespoon because I like my chicken seasoned very well. So if you like or if you're like me and you want uh, some additional season, go ahead and add some more additional seasoning. Of course, you don't have to use all the seasoning. It just depends on how many pieces of chicken you have. So go and add some additional season if you if you need. Give it another good mix and then we'll move on to the next step. All right, so the next step, what you want to do is you want to line your pan with aluminum foil like we always do because you want uh, to make it an easy cleanup. Also, you want to spray your pan with uh, vegetable oil, um, cooking spray. That way that your, your meat doesn't stick to the grates of your pan. So go ahead, line your pan, spray your grates, and then we'll move on to our next step. All right, so now what you want to do is you want to add your chicken to your greased pan. So go ahead and start placing your chicken on your pan, uh, skin side down, a half an inch to an inch apart. Try not to overcrowd your pan because you want your uh, 
chicken to cook freely. So go ahead and add your chicken pieces to your pan. And once you do that, we'll move on to our next step. All right, so it's time to add our wings uh, to the oven. I've already preheated the oven to 425 degrees. And so we're gonna stick these wings in here for uh, 55 minutes. And after half of the time, we're gonna turn the wings over and allow them to finish out the process on the other side. And the reason we do this is because we like our wings cooked evenly on both sides. And we'll move on to the next step. All right, so it's been half of the time. So what we're going to do is we're going to pull the wings out, turn them over, uh, let them cook for the remaining of the time on the other side. And so we can finish out this uh, cooking process and take a look at them. They're starting to look very good, good and tasty. I'm getting hungry already. So let's go ahead and turn your wings over and let's move on. All right, so now what we're going to do is we're going to start our uh, process of cooking our, uh, preparing our sauce. So the first thing you want to do is you want to take that one fourth stick of butter and you want to melt it into a pan. As the butter is melting, what you want to do, um, you want to add your garlic. You want to turn your heat around medium high to saute um, the garlic you don't don't you don't want your garlic burnt so don't burn the garlic continue to um, uh, mix the garlic with the butter and then what you want to do is you want to add about a tablespoon of uh, maybe like a half a, a half a tablespoon of the Cajun uh, mix seasoning to this uh, this garlic butter mixture and continue to mix it until the butter has melted completely. And like I say, you want to um, continue to mix it. You don't want to burn um, the garlic and you don't want to evaporate all the butter either. So um, continue to mix it until all the butter is melted. Bring it to a slight boil. And once it comes to a slight boil, you want to turn that um, heat down and allow it to simmer on low for a couple of minutes. And once you do that, we'll move on to our next step. All right, so the, uh, the remainder of the time of the wings are up. I've removed the chicken wings from the oven. And so let's take a real, um, let's take a quick look at them real quick. Look at that. These are looking pretty good. All right, so let's move on. All right, so what you want to do is while your uh, sauce is on low, you want to add your wings uh, into this butter mixture. And once you add all your wings in the butter mixture, you want to give those wings a quick turn and mix. Try to get them all coated. Once you do that, you want to turn up the heat maybe to around medium low and continue to stir and mix the chicken in this butter mixture. Take a look at that, folks. Man, that looks good. All right, continue to mix it and do this for about um, three to four minutes on medium low heat. And once you do that, we're going to move on to our next step. All right, so what you want to do now is you want to take those wings out of that uh, um, Cajun butter mixture and you want to add them to a bowl. So remove all your wings from the mixture and add them to a bowl. Then you want to take that butter mixture and pour it on top of your wings. Now take a look at that. Ooh, let's move on. All right, so what you want to do now is you want to take a pinch of the Cajun seasoning and just sprinkle it on the top of those wings. Just add a few pinches. You don't need to add much. Just add a few pinches. Give it a quick um, flip to kind of get all the seasoning in it. And what you want to do next is you want to take a couple of more pinches, add it to the uh, chicken, and then again, give it another kind of flip to mix it 
All right. Now you want to take a clean plate and you want to add um, those chicken pieces to a clean plate. These things smell good. Take a look at them, people. All right. So go ahead and add your chicken pieces to a clean plate and we're going to move on. And yes, sir. And yes, ma'am. Take a look at that. Cajun butter chicken wings. What do you guys think about that? I can tell you what I'm thinking. I'm thinking I'm hungry and I'm ready to eat. Take a look at that. Look how juicy they are. Look at that Cajun butter. It doesn't get any better than this, folks. I'm telling you, this is what I call good groceries, good wings, good eating. I hope you guys follow me along in this recipe. Because if so, you guys ought to be eating these things right about now. All right, so now it's time for me to take um, take me a bite to do some quality control just to make sure these things are safe to eat. So let me take me one. And I must say, these are better than I expected. A thousand percent better than I expected. You guys need to try these wings. These would be one of your favorite go-to uh, appetizers. When you uh, watching the game, when you're out with a picnic or you got people to come over. These will be your go-to wings. These wings are great. So, all right, guys, it's time for me to go. I'm about to sit down at this table, um, pop me a brewski, and I'm going to finish these wings out. And I'm glad you guys stuck with me in this video. I hope to see you guys again. And please, if you do make these wings, leave a comment below. I want to know how they turned out, and I'll see you guys in the next video. I'm out. All right, everyone. I know you enjoyed this recipe, Cajun Buttered Wings. I knew you guys were going to enjoy it. I told you that in the beginning. These wings came out amazing. And if you follow me through this uh, video, I know for a fact you're sitting at the table right now. And you're eating on the plate of these wings, listening to me. And the ones who didn't follow me, you're just waiting on this video to end so you can get to your kitchen and start making these wings. So, however, when you make these wings, leave a comment below. Let me know how they turned out. I love to hear from you guys about these wings recipes. Also, if you like the hit video, give it a thumbs up. And if you haven't subscribed, go right now and subscribe to my channel. You know you guys love wings. You know you like to eat wings. So subscribe to the channel and click that bell icon. That way you're notified every time I release one of these videos. And if you got family and friends, share this video with them. I'm sure they're going to enjoy it. And until then, I'm Spinelli. And we're in All Wings Everything. And I'm out and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace. Everybody stand up. Introducing... The one and only, the most anticipated, and highly underrated.